What's up, everybody? This is Daniel Sun. I'm glad you came to see me. I am. I'm glad you came to see me. I love to talk about fragrances. I really do. I love to tell people about my experiences with fragrances. I love to tell people about the fragrances I love and why I love them. This is like perfect for me, having my YouTube channel so I'll so I can be able to spread the good news, I guess. Um, as y'all probably already know what I'm going to be talking about, it is going to be about Sartorial by Pal Zaleri. This is actually an Italian fragrance launched in 2005, but I wanted to talk about my fragrances of the day today. Of course, I'm wearing this at the moment right now but I started off with a different kind of fragrance of the morning that I wanted to experience um, a lot of y'all know that I'm an incense head I've been into incense ever since I was a little kid um, it calms me it relaxes me and it's almost like I have a bond with certain fragrances like incense but I started off my day this morning I had the day off today and I was like I want to burn some incense and relax because incense really relaxes me I have about I have about 40 different kinds of incense and I chose this one today it's called Nag Champa um, this is actually made in India and shipped here and the uh, distributor or the importer is called Nandi Imports from California. This is uh, Nag, Nag Champa Spa Collection, but it's Nag Champa. That's the, the fragrance. And I chose this one today because this one is, it's very spicy. It's very powerful and strong. Um, it's very oriental smelling to me and that's just something that I wanted to smell today so I chose this one and it was so beautiful my room was like my room smelled like this for like hours really potent like spicy oriental incense I love this stuff that was my uh, fragrance of the morning this is the fragrance I started off the day with um, this is the fragrance I'm wearing now from for this review and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to wear tonight. Um, and I seen something way in the back and I was like, I'm going to wear this for tonight. Um, you know, I have a lot of uh, very expensive niche fragrances. And I have a lot of really expensive high-end designer fragrances. And I have independent fragrances. Regular mid-tier and lower tier designer fragrances and I have five dollar Walmart fragrances I wanted to wear this tonight Axe Axe Gold this is my favorite Axe there's a lot of Axe that I do not like there's about five that I do like this is by far my favorite it's called Axe Gold Oud Wood and Dark Vanilla I think this might be discontinued I got this a long time ago it's actually getting close to being gone but when I first started wearing this the first wearing I was like wait a minute I got like a fragrance that smells almost exactly like this and I took it out and I compared the two and I actually think I did a review on these but this is actually almost identical, extremely similar to another fragrance that's really popular, especially during the winter time. It's called Black Vanilla Absolute. Oud, Oud Black Vanilla Absolute by uh, Perry Ellis. Um, these two are almost, they're very close. This isn't quite what this is. The quality of this is much higher performance is much better you can tell this is a better fragrance but this is actually a really good clone believe it or not a six dollar clone of uh, black vanilla absolute and I've been very very happy with this um, so that will probably be my fragrance of the night tonight let's get on with this uh, let's 
get on with this review. Sartorial by Paul Zaleri, Italian, made in Italy, 2005 it was launched. Um, top notes, green apple, grapefruit, heart notes, sandalwood, amber musk, oak moss, and vetiver. Um, base notes is violet, lily of the valley, um, Bulgarian rose. I'm going to ditch these notes and pretend they don't exist because to me they do not exist. I've had this for well over a year and a half. And some of these notes like the green apple and the grapefruit and the uh, violet and lily of the valley, I've never ever gotten them, not even close, and I don't get them now. So as far as I'm concerned, those notes do not exist in this fragrance. I'll tell you what I smell though. 90% of this fragrance is woods, a mixture of woods, and it's awesome. Um, the, the blend of woods that I get is cedar wood that's actually not even listed in the notes. I get a very natural, fresh cut cedar wood, half. The other half almost exactly is a really realistic sweet sandalwood that's what I get almost from the very opening to all the all the way to the end of the dry down that's what I get the other thing that I get is a very realistic beautiful sweet rose but it's sort of in the background. The, the, up front is those woods. The natural cedar wood and the natural sweet sandalwood. The rose is in the background. And it's a perfect blend as far as I'm concerned. It's a perfect ratio as far as I'm concerned. Half cedar wood, half sweet sandalwood. A little bit of rose in the background to give it a nice floral but it's just a little bit and it's perfect i wouldn't change the thing about this fragrance i love wood fragrances i really do and it doesn't get any better to me than this as far as my personal taste as a matter of fact i have this is this is extremely close to being my number one fragrance as far as like woody fragrances um i have three favorite woody fragrances. My top three are Bentley, Ab Bentley for Men Absolute is my third. This was almost my first, but I'm going to put it in my second, and I'll tell you why in a minute. This is my second favorite woody fragrance. Um, my first is Royal Oud by Creed, believe it or not. And this is like getting close to being my number one. This is actually close to being a tie with Royal, Royal Oud by Creed. I think Royal Oud... Let me tell you about Royal Oud. I don't think they should have named it Royal, Royal Oud because I don't really get any Oud in it. As a matter of fact, what I just described... With this, that's what I get with Royal Oud, um, is mainly cedar and sweet sandalwood. That's what I get with Royal Oud. The only reason this isn't, like, tied as number one with Royal Oud is because I think Royal Oud is just a little bit better as far as performance and just a little bit better as far as quality. And don't get me wrong, man, this is like, to me, this is like top quality. This is like high quality as far as I'm concerned. But I think the Royal Oud is a little bit better. Um, I love this fragrance from the very, very first wearing. And over the last year and a half, every time I've wore it, it's gotten better and better and better. 
and um, I can't believe that I've never done a review on it. I love this fragrance. I love woody fragrances so much, and this is like almost my number one. This is up there with Royal Oud as far as I'm concerned, except Royal Oud is like 400 bucks, and uh, I'll tell you about the price of this in just a second. Let me tell you about the uh, performance of this. The performance is tricky on this, and I'll explain why. I know a few people that have this, and they think it's a really poor performer. Um, a lot of people think that it's the longevity is only like four to five hours. I think people... I'll tell you what I think. I believe that those people believe that, but I think the performance on this is a lot better than people give it credit for because this is tricky how this works. When I first started wearing this, I thought it was like four or five hours projection, even though the smell was awesome. I was like, damn, performance sucks on this. But it doesn't. The more I've wore this, the more I understand this fragrance. The longevity is actually about seven hours. But the thing about it is it doesn't really project much. Um, so a lot of people think it's dead, but it's not. It's a very, this is more of a personal scent. This is close to the skin. And there's been times that I think that it's dead after like four hours. But, you know, a couple hours after I think it's dead, I'll start getting whiffs of it in the air. And another th really good thing about this is it doesn't really project that much, but the scent trail is awesome. There's been lots and lots of times that I would go through a certain place at work or a certain place in my house and walk back through 30 minutes later and I could smell this from like 30 minutes before. So the scent trail is amazing on this fragrance. It just doesn't project very much. So that's the tricky part of this fragrance. Once you think it's dead, it's actually not because it'll come back and it'll start letting you know it's around. I'll start getting whiffs after like six or seven hours before it dies. And I'm like, man, this is actually pretty good. And that, this to me, that to me is what makes this a perfect like date night scent because it doesn't project. It's not going to offend anybody. It's not going to project a lot. But you'll be able to smell it. You'll be able to get whiffs of it. And people that are close to you will be able to smell you. It's just like people across the room won't be able to smell you. Unless you walk past them. And then they'll get your scent trail for the like next hour. Um, the bottle is actually really cool. I like the bottle. The top sometimes is actually hard to, to get off. Um, this is plastic. But it's really well made. It has the uh, PAL... Um, Zaleri on it, it's sort of like a dark, you can see through it, but it's a little bit shaded. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bottle as far as I'm concerned. This is like a chrome, um, and this is glass. The atomizer is freaking awesome. It's really, really good. The bottle's like really thick glass, so it's like really heavy. It's made very well. Um, it's very simplistic, which I love. Everybody knows that. It's just a really cool bottle also. Um, the thing about this, to me, this is up there almost with Royal Oud, except Royal Oud is probably like, what, 400 bucks. I looked online last night and looked around for the, the best price, and I actually found this on Amazon, um, which I will put a link to that, um, to where you can get this down in the description if you want to try it. This is really close to Royal Oud, except Royal Oud's like 400 bucks, and the seller on Amazon is selling this for 25 bucks with five bucks shipping, so that's like 30 bucks shipped. Um, so it's up to you. I mean, I'm, I'm actually really glad that I got this. I can't figure out why there's not a lot of people talking about this, though, um, because of the quality and the blend and everything. But if, if you want to, like, get a good wood fragrance that smells really similar to Royal Oud, 
Um, check it out if you want to. I'll put the link in the description. But um, I very rarely hear, hear anybody talk about this. And I just wanted to talk about this and sort of like let people know that this is here and it exists. And I hope people will trust me um, and maybe get it and hopefully fall in love with it also. And then they'll be able to tell people about it and word will sort of get around um, and people will be able to enjoy this a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, that's it for my review. And I hope that y'all have got something from this. And I will be back maybe whenever to talk about another fragrance. So I love you guys and peace. Love you. Bye.